there's been a demand for people to speak about leadership. There's not a lot of women leaders in the construction industry, so it was important, I, I hope, if I'm a good leader, to come out and, and speak to that. And, and there seems to be a demand um, with the women in the construction industry for, for that type of uh, type of leadership and type of speech. Last year we weren't really sure, we were fairly new as a committee and weren't really sure what people wanted and we spoke more to our specific uh, experience and how we got to where we're at and this year it seemed like they wanted to hear more about that but as well um, some more takeaways as to what can I do as a, as a good leader in my company, what strategies can we employ and speak more about how, how to do it than kind of the past and what's happened before. The uh, importance to me of talking to individuals on inspired leadership is, again, just to show other women that it's possible. You don't have to, you know, be a professional speaker to lead something. All you have to do is get your thoughts across so hopefully they can take something away that will, again, inspire them to step forward, move up, uh, make a difference for, for other individuals. Hearing the challenges and overcoming them through the, the stories and experiences that people have had who've been in the industry, those are key. Um, to know that somebody out there has felt it or been there um, is comforting, help you overcome fear, doubt. And when you're a minority in the industry, statistically, it's, it's helpful to have these get-togethers. One of the main challenges of being a woman in construction in, in a leadership position is you're a minority for sure. So you generally, if you go around the table, you have uh, a smaller voice just because there's not as many of you. You as well, you know, sometimes maybe don't have quite the same experience of where some of the guys have come from because they've, you know, pretty much grew up with a hammer in their hand. That is something that, you know, a person has to uh, acquire those that knowledge and it's just not second nature in, in probably a lot of females. I face challenges of being a minority, being doubted, um, being criticized, being heckled. <laughs> um, and it was about being strong and, and seeing my vision and working toward my priority always, which was to complete my certification. So um, I think having a vision is, is a key takeaway also. Because of my experience, I was given an opportunity early on and uh, taught that my opinion mattered. Them having the strength to be able to stand up and speak out um, and understand that they know what they're talking about. And uh, and if they speak up, that at some point they will be heard. <laughs> it's a reality. It's, it's what we're seeing in the industry. It's what we're seeing in the field. It's what we're seeing in terms of attraction and recruitment um, and it's being talked about because we're still not through some of the generational um, challenges that we face and and my personal belief is we don't fight them but we create new models and new innovative ways to quiet them a bit. The biggest single takeaway I'd like to see uh, for the audience to take away is that the just being a woman in the construction industry is a real viable career. It's, it's dynamic, it, it's fun, and uh, even though you're a minority, you, you can make a difference. <laughs>